set the laser up real quick. Yeah, that and you said there's a set of plans in that shed. Because it looks like it's. Could you check them and make sure nothing's what's different? Like 18 inch haunches. <laughs> Well, I did text him and say 2 by 12s and he said yes, so that was, hopefully that's the plan. But it does look deep. It looks like these haunches are dug really deep. I mean, we're only using 2 by 12s where, where did he dig them? He, he dug them like a foot deep. Well, I mean, usually you have a six inch pad, right? And then you dig the, the haunch down another six inches so you can, so they're 12 inches deep. He, he dug it down like a foot. So if we go, they'll be 18 inches deep. Excavated right over at his house. He's gonna come right over. Just have him fill it back in. We just won't be able to set it up today. It's for him, so he has an idea. <sighs> I, I mean, we can, yeah. Well, I'd rather have him do it right. Yeah. In. We could, uh, how about how about if we drove these in and then ran a string, I mean, could we run a string and yeah, think that would be close enough? I think the excavator's got to come back and fix something, so we'll end up taking everything off, but probably just stacking it in the middle. I think he's got to fill this in. So we get over here to set this slab, but this is a 70 by 40 slab. The six inches in the middle another six inches deeper here, so 12 inches total. And the excavator's got it dug way too deep on the edges, so the forms, the forms aren't nowhere near tall enough. So we're gonna, we're gonna shoot some grades, mark, mark his posts, so he can come back and fill in this, this deepened area, and then we'll have to come back and set it up. That's where we're at right now. Hey guys, so originally this was supposed to be a uh, two by 12 slab so six inches thick in the haunch or the outside grade beam and then six inches thick in the middle of the slab so when we showed up and the edges were dug a lot deeper we just we were a little confused because we weren't told in advance so we weren't really prepared for it and it ended up being uh 16 inches so we had to go 16 inches so we had ended up having to add on top of these forms so the reason this was this was really one of our most difficult setups and pours of the year for a couple reasons first of all you know whenever you're stacking forms on top of each other it's always a little difficult it just requires a little more labor a little more bracing it's not that we're not used to it it's just that ends up being a little more difficult than just going with two by twelves but the second thing that's the, the thing that really made it hard here was the beat sand that they used to set this slab up with i mean it's it wouldn't hold anything it was just so soft our metal pins that we use that we drive in to hold these forms they didn't hold the thing um like what t is driving in right now so they were basically useless we had to go out and buy these hardwood four foot long wooden pins i don't know i bought like 200 of them and we ended up going back around with those just to try to help hold the forms in place See, originally this was supposed to be a frost wall, a four-foot frost wall, but when they started digging, they ran into ledge just right below the surface. So they, at the last minute, they changed their minds from going with a frost wall with a floor inside the frost wall to a, just a big slab like this so they wouldn't have to deal with a ledge. And Yeah, he's, there you can see some of those wooden pins I drove in right in front. Um, so, okay, we got it all set up. We got it in place. We got it squared. We got it all set to grade. You know, that... I, that ended up going okay then when we came to pour as you'll see here shortly I mean the sand wouldn't hold anything from bowing out you can see all the metal the wooden pins I got in there now um, so we had just it was a struggle to get this thing poured and try to keep the form straight with all that beach sand all the kickers and braces we put on nothing would hold it in place and it was just that's one of our most difficult pours of the year right here so Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going on. You'll see what I mean. Hey, good morning, everybody. 
Got another pump job we're doing here today. Got a big slab, 70 by 40. Six inch slab, 16 inch thick edges. It's gonna be around 70 yards here today. So just getting going seven in the morning, priming out the pump. First thing we're gonna do is take this first chart and go right around the thick edge, you know, get it up about halfway, make sure everything's gonna hold good. They gave us kind of beat sand here for a sub base, which isn't the greatest sub base for holding, holding stakes and forms in place. So hopefully our forms all hold good. Can we get a pinch bar out? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, it's up there on the ground. Yeah. Hopefully this first truck we won't have to touch nothing. It'll just hold. We're gonna go all the way around. Get rid of, get rid of him. Yeah. Get up to about the bottom of the plywood. <laughs> Go to about the bottom of that plywood, okay? Morning, Harvey. Morning, Good. So this first truck will probably only do the haunt. Here, pull that wire like Javi's doing. Here. It's in. Do you want to leave it like that or do you want me to tap on them kickers? I think we leave it for now and then when we fill it up to the top. Yeah, all right. I'm going to go grab a hammer. Okay. The one that convinced me we could do 3,000 three quarters to 120 feet of three inch line. Those days are gone. Yeah. What'd you say? Flag. Flag. I can't match here. Okay. That's what it looked like on. Last second load, yes. Right. I did get a picture of that. All right. So the forms held. The forms held on that initial run around them. So now we're gonna fill it right up. Get going on pouring the floor. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. There, we may have to take another another little run all the way around, okay, just to get him empty. Yeah. Well, they dug ledge, they hit ledge, and then they decide not to do a frost wall. This is what he put in here. Beat sand. Beat sand, wet beat sand, yeah. That looks good. All right, if we can keep it there, yeah. Ready? Yeah. I get right where you are. It looks a little high.
I'm just gonna have you hand it in. Oh, sorry. Remember how, remember how rough looking that garage looked after we bolt loaded it the other day? Yep. It didn't finish too, too bad. Yeah, that's what you're saying, yeah. It dried up. The surface didn't like dry out crazy. Yep. I didn't have to use any water or nothing. But it, it did feel funny. But it finished okay. That's all you can ask for, I guess. No major defects or anything. Right. I'll get it on the next one. As long as we're not really high. It's not low. Take a little thinner one. Make sure I got enough to get a pad all the way across before he runs out. Go one more, one more across, then we'll come down and do that. You doing okay, bud? You doing okay? Him empty. Probably got three or four yards off him already anyway. Ten yards does about 16 feet. He's 50. I don't think we're going over 70. Nope. Look. We'll get a smile, Jim. Smile. <laughs> well, when he comes over here and sees that wall, he's going to be stressed. Oh, guys, I'm not even sweating. You guys are doing all the work.
Hey, as soon as I get Chris dumped, I'll order a bounce. And he's going to be close, but I don't think he's going to quite do it. I think it's going to be a, a yard or two. All right, I'll, I'll let you know in about 10, 10 minutes we'll get him empty. Okay, thank you. Bye. Give it 10 more. Go on. Give it 10 more. Between those drains is about a half inch low, okay? Hey Jim, could you check and see if that laser's on, please? Could you pass me that grade stick, please. Thank you. You like it? Yes. Yes. Love it, Jimmy. Love it. Kind of thinking of coming to work for us, aren't you? Huh? Who else picks on you? Nobody. Who? Well, nobody can. Avi don't pick on you, does he? He's too polite. Avi ain't here very often. Oh, now that was a that was a cheap shot. Did you hear that? You hear that? Oh my God, Jim. Now he's never going to be there, bud. They got a hose right there if we want to get him out of here too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That way.
you how I'm going to do them. Basically, that's it. Blow the, blow the dust. Put the strong bolt there. Tap it down in like that. Then that's that's in there. That's locked in there. So that's. All right, that does it. So we got all our inkables in. We got ended up using 48 of them around the slab, 70 by 40, about every five feet. We went. If he wants to put more in, he can. But that's going to help anchor down his sill plate, and then you know, obviously, he can build his walls on top of that. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. Tune in next time. We'll see you on the next one.